there. I'm not supposed to give those out to patrons. There's a bit of construction going on. Well, that sounds lovely. Why don't you talk to Zora about this? She has an office on the next floor up and probably a bit more clearance to fudge the rules. You know, it's so strange. Somebody came in just this morning and donated a book. She said to point people to it if anyone asked about night drumming, which made very little sense to me, considering this book appears to be unrelated to that. Uh, not that I'm entirely sure what night drumming is. It was a little peculiar. Just about every sentence she said was a rhyme. Not sure if she meant to do that or if she was just doing it by accident. An interesting woman. I quite liked her. And then here you are asking about that very topic. So, are you a night... A drummer? Am I saying that right? Is this a new thing people are doing? Oh, I'm always so behind the times. Sounds curious indeed. Anyway, the book is called The First Folk and it's on Shelf C. Welcome back. We've got plenty more patrons interested in your work. They're so very sad.
life is good here in Nava. Would you like to buy some sealant? It'll be 500 glowstones. No kidding. Well, smack me in the bloom sack and call me a teacup. Better than the glowstones, if you ask me. <laughs> Much obliged. Here you go. Need a few more glowstones, eh? Well, that's great news for me.
Good day. painted my invention. Say, maybe this is just what people need to see to get them out here and interested in taking a flight. I've got it. How about you paint me and the balloon up in the air so people can get a real idea of how the flight will be? Great. I'll get ready for liftoff. I knew it would look amazing in flight. You're pretty quick with that painting business. Here, let me add some information on there. This will work. Alright, that'll get people interested. Now, it's up to you to make sure the kind folks of Eastshade see that flyer. Put it up somewhere with lots of traffic. Oh, I'm sure you'll find the perfect spot, Traveller.
Partner, the Traveller! We've done it! That flyer really did the trick! I've just had a whole group of adventurous folks looking to take flight! Say, you've really saved my invention. How'd you like to take a ride up to the mountaintop? That's the spirit! Hop in, pal! Even more spectacular than I always dreamed. Feel free to walk around and take in the sights. I'll take you back down when you're finished.
Are you ready to head back? Thanks again for all your help. There's nothing so exciting as bringing people on a great adventure. Just let me know if you need another lift to the mountaintop, pal. I right? can't believe it! Business is booming already! We're truly grateful for all of your help. Here, take these glowstones. We made a big sale just for the morning eclipse. We're in the middle of our reopening and criminy, what a turnout! Of course, of course, him and a few others. Couldn't have done this all without you. Oh, for great shade's sake, we, we gotta unpack some of what Caitlin already packed up. Oh, my poor wife. Can't believe what I put her through. I hope I can make up for it all. Of course, you're welcome to my wares anytime, at a discount.
new visitors. There's been an incident. But with the storm... Well, I'll give you the room we were planning to give the detective. We're just about full otherwise. There's been a theft in one of the rooms. The police are on their way now, though it might take a while. Don't worry though, the thief wouldn't dare strike again. Some sort of important book. Real valuable, I guess, by the way Mr. Historian is reacting. I don't claim to understand what it does. I just know we can't have any thieves making an escape. We've got all kind of weirdos here. And it could be just about any one of them. They're all exhausting me. Most of the guests are napping right now, though. So it's nice and quiet for the moment. Look, since we've got this shady business going on here, I'm not going to charge you. You can have a room upstairs. First door on your right. At any rate, it looks like you don't have much choice but to stay. The storm is raging out there. My great-great-grandparents built it as a waypoint for expeditions north and for folks building windmills on the Teethmore Bluffs. It's well past its glory days, and I can't imagine this situation is going to do much to boost its reputation. Not exactly. Well, there was this university student. Strange thing. She arrived around noon, coming from Narva. A few hours later, the historian arrived, followed by Helena and that businessman, Vadim. The student went off to her room. I figured she wanted an early start in the morning. But then she came out a little after sunset, bags all packed, telling me she had to leave and take care of an emergency. I felt bad for her having to leave in the night like that. Who are you? You don't look like the authorities. Another suspect! When did you get here? Oh, sure. Well, watch yourself. There's a thief on the loose, and no one's even trying to catch them. In my translation book, it contains rooms that would allow me to enter and learn more about the Tiefmoor ruins. It's highly sensitive and confidential information. I was on my way to the ruins when the thief made their move. Very few people know about the translation book. Someone must have been following me. And the authorities. Delayed by a boating mishap. At this rate, the thief is going to slip away in the night. Hello, detective. My name's Belinda, and I'm an open book, I tell you. Any questions you have, I'm completely ready to answer. I don't have a single thing to hide. Hmm. The only suspicious thing I've seen is that historian. He's been running into our rooms, snatching up our things and dragging them around for others to inspect. It makes you wonder if he isn't trying to cover something up. My sister and I are taking a relaxing vacation. She hardly gets out of the house anymore, and I thought the fresh air out here would do her some good. Knees, thighs, toes, a continual upset stomach. <laughs> Old age, you might say. I have. It seems that Miss Helena is unwell. I've seen her looking very sick and tired as she moves about the inn. You'll see. Something's wrong with her. Hi, I'm Amir. You are going to crack this case, right? My girlfriend and I were supposed to play a show tonight. Oh, this is horrible. 
Yeah, I am. I just told you that. We were really hoping to play Inava tonight. I don't know if this will help, but there was someone down on the beach late last night. I couldn't sleep, so I was looking out of my window at the lake, searching for inspiration. But yeah, someone was down there. Just past the innkeeper's counter. You can go in, the door's unlocked. We figured, since we don't have any interesting books, we're probably safe from the thief. I couldn't tell. They seemed like they might be... tall, maybe? But certainly mysterious. That businessman, Vadim, he's pretty strange. Obsessed with money. He's given me several nasty looks. And the woman over in the corner, Belinda, she keeps giggling at everyone. They're a point of controversy around here. Some people want them open to the public, and some people think they're a sacred space. I understand that the ancient people wouldn't have wanted us to disturb their tomb, but it would have been pretty neat to play a show in there. You're making great strides, Detective. I know you'll have this sorted out in no time. Oh, right. Well, anyway, I'm sure you'll find the culprit. As soon as the criminal still hasn't been found, I've taken the liberty of locking everyone's boat ashore. Shouldn't be travelling in the storm anyway. Why don't you take these keys to continue your investigation of the suspects and their rooms? this is. I've been thinking about it. This place is empty most of the time. Tourism on the teeth more bluffs isn't what it once was. And the milling industry is no fancy and upcoming like before. Got that letter in the mail just a few days ago. Seems like my ticket out of here. This place gets a little too gloomy for me. Just about everyone in this area has an opinion on them. Indigenous people think no one should even look at them. Most everyone else just wants to see what's inside. I had a pal who snuck inside when we were kids. She wouldn't tell me what she saw in there though. Kind of doubt she actually did it. Are you the authorities? Do you paint the crime scene to help find clues? Okay, well my boyfriend and I really need to get off this lake. We're supposed to be playing a show in Narva tonight, but the innkeeper won't let anyone leave. It's so frustrating. We've never played anywhere important and the one chance we get, this has to happen. A book was stolen. It must contain the meaning of life, because I can't see any other reason it would be such a big deal. We got here yesterday afternoon. We ate dinner, played some music, and went to bed. I heard some scuffling in the middle of the night, but I just thought it was rats. Ugh, they're everywhere. It's such a bad situation. The indigenous people just want the land to stay sacred. All they ask is that no one goes in the ruins. But the university is constantly sending people over to investigate. They want to extract the artifacts. 
And there's this new law that says if the scientists can't find any ancient relics in the ruins, then the ruins aren't historically important, and so don't get any protections. That means the sacred space could be dishonored by random hikers. I mean, of course the scientists won't find any relics. They aren't even allowed inside. So the land is really in peril right now. It's just a mess. Just hurry up and find the criminal, okay? So you finally made it, Detective. I was hoping you'd be delayed, so we could have more excitement. Well, of course. My sister Belinda dragged me here all of a sudden for a quiet retreat. <laughs> but I don't much like quietly retreating. I'd rather have the suspense of a conniving thief in our midst. No, I'm trapped in this bed. There's nothing at all to see here. But I did hear a young girl pacing outside my door before the theft. She seemed very flustered. I called her inside and we talked a bit about books. She was a student at the university. Suddenly she said she needed to go. What a sad girl. You skipped to the last page? Don't spoil the ending for me. The businessman Vadim gave me that book last night. I haven't finished it yet, and I don't know anything about those numbers. They better not be important to the story. Yes, my husband and I used to go on dates at the ruins. The night sky and the fresh air, all surrounded by the history of the island. It's a very romantic spot, you know.
I don't think you're a real detective at all. That's an old poem from the native people on the Tiefmoor Bluffs. I keep it with me as a reminder to always be thankful. Yes, I have. Those musicians have been desperate to get out of here since the moment the book went missing. They've been singing all kinds of obnoxious songs about this situation. Annoying fiends. Those ruins mean everything to me. All I've ever wanted is to preserve that sacred ground. Ah, good. You finally arrived to sort this out. Check through my suitcase and I'll be on my way, detective. Good gods, this is truly obscene. The historian likely dropped the book in the lake himself. You've seen how his hands shake. And now he's trying to frame one of us. That historian! He's a madman! He tore through our rooms this morning, screaming about his wretched book. Numbers? I'm afraid I don't know anything about that. I picked up that book in a small market last week. It wasn't my cup of tea, so I gave it to Rad Miller. A wasted opportunity at the moment. Who doesn't love the idea of visiting a tomb thousands of years old? Who wouldn't love the sense of discovery and heritage? Who wouldn't pay dozens and dozens of glowstones for that kind of experience? I'm going to bring that dream to life, I promise you that. Have you any progress? Look, we've already searched everyone's trunks. The book isn't here. Thief's got it hidden somewhere else. But maybe if you take a look, you'll find something that points to the killer. I, I mean, the thief. What? You found this here? Why, I, I can't fully translate it, but I think this is describing a poem about cattle. Uh, or about gold. Uh, I need my translation book. Why are you searching through my things? I only opened my trunk so the suspects would feel more comfortable opening theirs. Surely I can't be a suspect in this crime. That medication is my private business. Ahem. I would appreciate if you mind my privacy. I am the victim here, after all. It's true I'm being let go from my position at the university. But this is my life's work we're talking about. I can't just abandon this when I'm so close to finding all the answers. But really, Detective, this is a waste of time. You should be investigating the actual suspects. Uh, hi. I'm not really sure what's going on. Oh, right. There was an emergency, but don't worry, everything's okay now. 
Oh, right. There was an emergency, but don't worry, everything's okay now. Of course. Those halls belong to my ancestors, and my aunt lives on the property. I mean, for now, she's probably going to have to sell it. Oh, um, are you sure it's necessary? Okay, it's just on the ground. Aha, good news. The real detective has arrived. Are you the impromptu detective? Sorry, it took me so long to get here. The innkeeper just filled me in on the situation. It seems like you've been doing good work here. Do you have a prime suspect? Really? That's very interesting. Let me have a look around and see if I can confirm your suspicions. Looks like you're well on your way to becoming a full-fledged detective. Certainly nice to have someone else carry out the interrogations. Sad story this is. Looks like Helena was hoping to sell off the land to the tourist industry. Worth quite a lot of money. Says she was trying to take a final look inside the ruins. That's why she needed the book. Must have been having second thoughts about selling the land. Unfortunately for her, we've now got solid evidence that the ruins are filled with ancient relics. No chance of selling the property now. Ownership will most likely default to university. Well, I'd be remiss if I didn't reward you for your work. Please, accept these glowstones I'm authorized to award good Samaritans like yourself. And I believe my work here is just about done. So, you actually weren't the detective after all. I just had to see if there was anything in the ruins. All my life I've believed there's nothing but spirits in there. I've started to see that no one else believes that. I can't afford for the land to go to science. Science doesn't pay! But my heart couldn't afford for the ruins to be opened as a tourist location. I just thought the translation book might hold some answers for me. Might help me solve this puzzle. Vardim made an offer on the land. He suggested running his own excavation for sacred objects, but really I knew he would do everything possible to destroy what he found. I took the book and planned to sneak inside the ruins. Just take a peek. I wouldn't have destroyed anything, and if I found something, I would have reported it to the university right away. Now, the ruins will be opened to the university. We'll just have to see what happens. Thanks for working on this case, Detective. We were worried we'd be trapped here forever. Well, I thought Helena was acting strange. Guess you can always count on me, Detective. Who knows? Maybe they will find some cures in the ruins. That would really be something. Oh well, I'm happy to hear there's something of interest in those ruins. Well, I guess Vadim won't want to buy my inn anymore. But maybe I'll get more interest now anyway. Who knows, I just might convert one of these rooms into a ruins museum. Finally! We can leave! Maybe we'll get to play in Narva after all. can't say I'm pleased the case was cracked. I was quite enjoying the excitement. Ha <laughs> ha. Back to dreary days in bed, I suppose.
It's too bad the ruins are going to be swept up by the university. Wasted opportunity. The entire island would have profited from the tourism. All in the name of science, I suppose. I didn't expect things to happen so quickly. I guess the ruins aren't ours anymore. I'm glad the university will be studying them. I've always wondered about everything I saw in there. Poor Auntie H. I wish she could see inside. She must have been really desperate to end up taking that book. Well, after we recover the translation book from Helena, maybe I can get my position at the university back as well. The ruins have always been important to her. I only hope I can preserve them for future generations. And imagine what we can learn about the past. Eventually, I hope it will be better this way. If we uncover even one artifact, the ruins will be protected forever. No tourists, no names carved in the walls by hooligans, no trash tossed around. Just a bastion of history. On an unrelated note, I saw the... shall we call it the... watercraft you arrived here in. I've drawn up some instructions for you on how to build a reed boat. They're commonly used around here. No need for... whatever that thing is. You also find reed boats quite capable of coastal travel. I can't imagine your contraption there is. You'll need heavy reeds. They're wider and flatter than the usual sort. Best wishes, and, um, sorry for accusing you of taking my translation book. I'm sure you understand.
You got my message. And you came. Oh, it's so good to finally meet a Skyfolk. I mean, other than Mudwillow. But I guess she's not really a Skyfolk since she does live underground. Maybe you've met her. Anyway. Please, forgive all the sneaky sneaky. I should introduce myself. I am Alejo. My people call ourselves Machra. But I believe your people might better know us as the First Folk. Sadly, my people wouldn't exactly approve of me meeting with a Skyfolk. Uh, please, don't take that in a bad way. As a people, most of us are just very... What is this? I guess you could say we do not like to mingle with outsiders. But not me. For as long as I can remember, I have been fascinated by the Skyfolk. The stories, the architecture, the language. I have dedicated quite a lot of time to learning your tongue, after all. I am grateful to Mudwillow for being such a willing teacher. And the variety. Is it true that there are bear folk? Oh, I can never tell what to believe from my people. I am feeling like we must have so much wrong about the Sky Folk. Oh, I have so many questions for you. I hope it's not too bad to ask, but is it true that your people are removing the eyes of the firstborn? Aha! I knew it! I wonder what other lies my people are making up about the Sky Folk. And what is your trade? Wow! That's very good. My sister is an artist too. She's an etcher, carves designs into the walls and such things. Well, I should probably leave here. Someone will notice I'm gone if I'm out for much longer. Ooh, tell me, do you think you could make me a painting of the big city? Mudwillow told me about it, but I want to see it. That would be incredible. I don't have much to give you, though. We could meet here again, same time tomorrow night. That would be incredible. Paint it from afar, yes? I want to see the skyline. To be honest, I like to be beneath the sky and stars. I think we all do. That's why every so often, some of us come up here to make music. Ah, to feel the rhythm of music under the stars. Most feel it's worth the risk of being heard. I think I'm going to make a habit of coming up here every night. I hope to see you soon. It was a pleasure speaking with you.